Hi there, my name is James Blackman. I'm with Enterprise IoT Insights and RC Wireless. We're here at uh, Mobile World Congress 2019 with Georges Caram, who is the Chairman and Chief Executive of Sequans. George, thanks for joining us. Thanks, James. And George, uh, you know this event for you is a, is a big thing. You've got a new platform out, the Monarch 2. I wonder if you can, can tell us something of that, the strategy and some of the other features. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Sequence, we are leader in the IoT space, uh, focusing really on narrowband IoT, uh, IoT for uh, LTE for IoT. And we had our Monarch 1 uh, two years and a half ago, and now we are coming with the successor, a Monarch 2, which is obviously it's all about integration, uh, more integrated chip, giving you better cost advantage, but more important, dividing by a factor of two, the power consumption, and add more functionality inside the ship to get it more uh, useful like MCU, GNSS, uh, IUICC, a lot of features that we added in the ship and uh, this ship that soon you will see it in the market this year. And we're, we're, we're here at your booth and there's a, there's a, a lot of de devices you're showing based on the, the previous generation, the Monarch One. Can you talk to me about the importance of that chip you know, in the market and what it's done and also uh, talk about the, the migration for customers up to the Monarch 2 platform. I mean, absolutely. You know, Monarch, we were the leader in this space. Many people adopted our technology while they're developing modules, so our major customers, or developing real devices. And you see, in IoT, you have a lot of applications. So you have the traditional m 2 m application where you're talking about metering, alarm panel, point of sales. So a lot of applications we have seen there in this space. But also we saw a new area of application where all around tracking devices, whether personal tracking, asset personal tracking, or even really more important, uh, big asset tracking, telematic application, where the key game there that IoT, LTE for IoT is adding is really the power. Uh, and now we have, for example, some tracker for pallet tracking where you put this tracker and with double A battery and can stay there for three years uh, just getting reporting from this. So uh, it's very important, you know, all this uh, power advantage that you can get with LTM and NBIUT uh, is changing the world of IoT. And obviously from there you see another type of application that they tend to be wearable application. We announced on the show, for example, a, a ban for babies. Uh, where you can, you know, collect, sense all things about the body of the baby and if there is an alarm, something to send, you send it, you know, to the parents so they know there is something happening as well. Uh, so, and obviously, you talk about the evolution to customers uh, and uh, what's very good about Monarch 2 is we are not, you know, starting from scratch. All our customers that they use Monarch for two, three years developing application, the software will move completely smoothly to Monarch 2. They can take advantage of the better power, better cost structure, uh, more feature of Monarch 2, but they will not lose all what they have done. And also the certification angle with the carrier, we can leverage all the protocol, all the certification that Sequence has done to get it fast on Monarch 2. Okay, and, and uh, eSIM, the embedded SIM, is uh, an important feature of the show as well, especially in this low power wide area space. Can you, can you say something of the strategy there and how you're I guess helping operators adopt eSIM technology. I mean, absolutely. You know, when you move to the IoT world, eSIM, iSIM becomes really much more important than when you see it in the smartphone. Because now you're getting devices out of the factory and no one is going to plug a SIM inside. All this needs to be embedded, integrated. So what we did, and a step further in Monarch 2, integrated a secure element, allowing you to do integrated your ICC. So you have a SIM completely integrated ready to go, in other words, the chip can go out connected with the profile of the carrier inside. Obviously, we need to work from there with many partners on the operating system to load it there, and obviously working with the carriers to follow up their strategy regarding IUICC, how they will want to make it further, and how you enable roaming between carriers and so on. And, um, you know, the, the, the uh, use cases that will be enabled by this, by this, uh, you know, uh, removing some of the complexity, the new power you, you're enabling by the Monarch 2. Can you talk around that in the IoT space, use cases? I mean, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, use cases, obviously uh, power is key. You know, we're talking about devices. If you go to some gas meter uh, and you need to keep the gas meter staying there with the battery for 10 years, you're not going to charge it again. So power is really key, is, is the must have in this IoT. Sequence, you know, on Monarch platform, we enable one microamp rock bottom. 
We beat everybody. Even the next generation platform coming from our competitor, they're still 3x bigger than us. They are at 3 microamp, we are at 1 microamp. So this is really a key feature that we provide there. And uh, obviously the integration of, of the SIM inside, uh, it's, it's key differentiation there because now you don't have to add external SIP, you reduce the cost. But also, you know, you can get more and more in IoT devices, they need to go out, as I said, ready, and they work on any carriers. So it's not really about, you need to have the flexibility to move from one carrier to another uh, without really changing SIM, and all this needs to be loaded over the air on the integrated SIM that you have on the chip. It's very exciting, it seems like uh, certain barriers, a lot of barriers perhaps even are coming down in the IoT space. What's next for Sequons? I mean, you know, uh, for us, uh, obviously, we're putting all our energy on the IUD to make it happen. You have a lot of barriers, obviously, on the technology side. This is where we are contributing the most. But we are contributing as well in the end-to-end -end value chain, working from the application level with the cloud, the application with the carriers, as well with the module maker and device maker to simplify all this. And really, by making the technology easy to use, this is our major contribution to this. What we did as well on the show recently last week, we announced as a next step evolution towards the 5G. So we're working on 5G. Uh, we're working on this since four years, doing research on this. And now we're accelerating a little bit more uh, to move after the IUT to add really the 5G angle of it. Fantastic. George, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thanks for the question.